what you did, bro. Where, where, um, I'm, I'm just chilling, you know. Where, where did you, when did, I'm trying to figure out how to frame this, because I don't want to be a leading question. Hmm. Do you define yourself as an artist? Yeah. When did you know? When did you know? Oh, uh, you see. Did you see an artist? Yeah. How did you know? Oh, uh, I started sharing more and I got like pretty positive reception. So was it a, a, a reconciliation or was it a discovery? Oh, uh, I mean obviously both, but it was more so a discovery. It depends on how you look at it, right? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. But I mean, it's a conversation. Was it, because uh, because both is... Interesting. Mm. I used to, uh, I've been telling the story all day, but when I was young, my grandmother used to read me the story mm. uh, mm. named We Used to Be Giants. Okay. Right? And um, it took me a long time to come back to the idea of artists because people had, I grew up on Wall Street. Okay. So people would say, a lot of history, do, right? You do paint and you do math? Wow, how do you balance it all? Which made me segment, which made me define myself based on how people define me. And then one day I remember waking up and saying, it's not in me, or it's not on me, it's in me. My anointing is mine. So when people say, how do you balance, you don't have to eagle how it flies or a dolphin how it swims. Because that's what he was made to do. Well, yeah. So when I, when I stopped for a second and said, well, how do I navigate all these different worlds? Is never through the lens of finance or business or even man. It's always through art. I realized and I came to grips with this idea of art being the highest form of hope. And when I look at the world, like from an epistemology standpoint, mm. art is a grandfather, creativity is a grandchild. Art is the one that they said at the beginning. So when everything is at its highest form, the art of business. The art of law, mm. the art of negotiation. Well, yes. But the art, just simply down to the art, mm. the profession, my truth, the thing that I profess to the world and would die on if I was ever asked, my heart versus my art. When I discovered that piece and said everything else is just an extension of that artistry, my grandma does a self taught course on dog making. And people ask me, am I an artist? And I say, yeah, I'm a bad sculptor. I'm a bad sculptor, yeah. To this yeah. day, she's still alive, criticizing me for not picking up her tray. Mm -hmm. um, I'm somehow able to translate via paint, however. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, porcelain and bowls, you have to paint them, right? Yeah, but she she mixes the clay and fires the clay. Yeah, and that's what that's what she does. She does the surgery with the eyelashes and yeah, she sews the clothes. Okay, she's doing so, she, 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 she's she's doing a lot. She's doing a lot. She's doing a lot. And um, she uh, raised me in Tulsa. So I grew up in her doll shop on Black Wall Street in Greenwood District. Oh no, look at that. Yeah. Wait, you grew up on Black Wall Street or Wall Street? Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street in Tulsa. In Greenwood, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Not regular Wall Street in New York. In Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma. The same one that they grew up. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Hey, grandma's still there, throwing it out, um, protesting, mm -hmm. uh, teaching the kids how to read. What I would tell mm -hmm. her, what, what I would say is her, what I'm getting, right, is that her being authentic and just like being, living true to her experience as being like a black Tulsan, right? Uh, being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. being creative, I don't see why she wouldn't actually do any of that stuff, right? Because it's just very consistent with the experience and like the concept. But see, that's why why I asked about the discovery versus reconciliation. Okay. For me, it was a reconciliation. Oh. It was a massive reconciliation. So when you I, say reconciliation, you mean reconciling like the history with your own experience as like a painter and like reconciling that with the history of your grandmother. People have been separating me from my truth for a long time because of their projections, because of their posits, because of their understanding yeah. of the world, mm -hmm. not because of my understanding. Yeah. So as a first generation college student, when folks said, you shouldn't be able to do all of this, that mm -hmm. excited me for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then it humbled me for a while. 
and then it pigeonholed me in a situation mm -hmm. of stress and uh, overwork and if I'm doing two jobs, I'm being twice as good to be half as much. And how do I figure out who I am if I'm doing all of this shit just to try and what if I just be I breathe art. Okay. I don't sell all art. I wake up and I breathe it. Mm. Every bit of it, I, it's delicious. It's fuel for my soul. Mm. And being able to pay attention to details and patterns and understand that it's not just a ephemeral, it's technique, it's architecture, it's design. It's yeah. always been mathematical. Yeah. It's always been mathematical. Yeah. But because we were down where we are now, I'll say it again. I used to read a story that said we used to be giants. Mm. We used to be giants. And somehow, we let other people convince us that we're small. Okay. Oh, uh, do we want to do an exercise to do that? Mm-hmm. Uh, are any of you guys like singers? Well, yeah, like, see, then it's hard. Anybody that's a dancer, you know? Because what I'm trying to do is like make music on the fly. Right? He's the singer. Okay. George, we need a vocalist. Yeah. Okay. We need a vocalist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I come from, you know, sing, 